Hi, my name is Shane Drew. I work, uh, I oversee the chassis and suspension side of the Team Honda HRC Factory 450 team. You know, you know, generally when we get a new model come out, you know, you know, right now we just have an evolution of what we've been working on for a few years. So that actually makes our job easier in a way because we just keep going on, you know, what worked previously in the past and we try to try to refine it and make it better. Um, but when we do get an all new model, we actually try to get a hold of it earlier than, uh, you know, the, the, the mass release of it is. So. Um, but we, you know, we look, we look at all the numbers, we look at the geometry, we look at linkage curves and we just see how much it is changed um, and then we calculate what we think we need to do to keep, keep the good results coming. Um, sometimes we're more successful than others. Some, some bikes are more of a struggle than others but you know, um, um, generally there's a reason when, when Honda comes up with a new model. There, there, there's good backing behind it, they do a lot of testing so the package is you know, usually a better package so we just have to we look at our goal is we have to refine it, optimize it as best we can for each rider. Uh, actually, it's a combination of both. You know, we, we, we know we, when we, you finish the current season, you know, you know, you do an analysis, you know what your weak points are, you know what your strong points are, and then you try to make a plan to how we're going to address these weak points. You know, whether that's with all new parts or just some setting changes. Um, you know, we have the benefit of having a fantastic test rider in Trey Kennard, so that helps us develop settings and parts. Um, um, that, that speeds up the process immensely. So yeah, it's a little bit of everything. Sometimes, sometimes we do small steps to make big gains, or sometimes we know we have to make a big thick out of the box to make some big improvements. Yeah, um, both, both Kenny and Justin definitely like a different setup. Um, you know, not one's not right or wrong, but they're different riding techniques and different styles. Um, you know, Justin, obviously, he's, he's been a very successful, very experienced, professional rider he knows what he wants so we uh, you know we, we he knows what he wants so we give that to him and then we just try to point out hey we think we can improve this we think we can improve that and we try some things you know he's in such a happy place with his bike right now after you know coming back from Australia that you know we have a list of things we want to try with him in the next few weeks but um, we have a really good package to go home to if there's any doubts that if we've made improvements or not uh, yeah actually show a is always developing something new and they present you know things at different times and you know we analyze it we try it we test it when it's uh, you know that's a perfect example to have Trey Kennard again uh, he'll try some new things when we're confident it's ready to introduce to say Kenny then we'll uh, move forward with it um, so we have that luxury of not jumping into something before it's ready or we feel it's it has to be better than what we already have before we start using it different manufacturers bike react differently to different changes you know um, you know, some things, a lot of just uh, uh, chassis parts. Uh, if you're not in the window, you can make improvements with that. But if it's a good package, then, then, then you're just refining, you know? So I don't think there's a, there's a set trend, like you said. It's, you know, it's, it's different from every bike and every rider. Well, for sure, that's a challenge because, you know, they're, they're, they're a mass-produced motorcycle. So that's where I feel, you know, it's a very good package for a wide range of riders. But that's where I feel as our race team, our priority is just to optimize that package for each guy so they can get most, the most they can out of it on a Supercross track. Because as you know, there's 25 riders in the world that can ride Supercross competitively, you know? So um, that's a challenge, but it always helps when you have such a good package to start with.